Hi, YouTube. Welcome to Lorcana Market Watch. It's that time of the week where we talk about the Digimon Lorcana card game market. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I'm going to keep that in for fun. I'm not going to restart it. You guys can troll me in the comments. Anyway, um, we haven't done a Lorcana Market Watch in a little bit. Now that things are starting to circulate, this will officially become a weekly thing. Uh, I, For those that don't know, I am the Digimon Market Watch guy, and I am also the... Lorcana Market Watch guy. Officially confirmed. Yep, 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 dibs, double dibs, and no dibs on my dibs. All that fun stuff. But seriously, seriously, we gotta talk about the market. Now with Gen Con, uh, the, the floodgates have opened, it seems like, so we need to address this. I don't expect this video to be super long, but uh, we do have to talk about some things. So if you guys like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. We are a new channel. We're trying to get to 1,000 uh, thousand subs, and if we do get the 1,000 subs, I will upload gameplay, like I said I would. And we're, we're well on our way. That's nice. Okay, booster boxes, 340. Um, for those of that were Gen Con, you would have had the pleasure maybe of getting a box from Ravensburger for about, uh, you know what, uh, retail? <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, and vendors were selling them there for like 500 bucks. This is like a happy medium, conveniently. Uh, but this is not the way. Booster boxes are really interesting because this will be the only, these will be the only things you can't get at a Walmart, right? you will not be able to find seal boost boxes at Walmart. I know that Best Buy had their special little thing, their pre-orders, and, like, other games might do that, but, like, as for, like, the bulk of it, Walmarts, Targets, and the like, uh, none of that fun stuff. None of that fun stuff at all. So that's all I really had to say on that. Uh, booster box at 340 You want to wait for the 18th. Uh, they will go down in price. But there won't be a lot. But I did find out that there will be a second wave of the first chapter. So uh, take that information as you will. I would not spend this money on boxes. Just a suggestion. All right, let's talk about some singles now that are absolutely insane. Um, Elsa, Spirit of Winter, $125. For an eight-cost card that a perma suspends two characters. It's a legendary. I'm not even foil. Not even foil. Um, $125. Yeah, no, don't, uh, do not, do not do that. Do not buy into those pre-sales. Uh, what about Mickey Mouse? A $145 evasive that quests for four. Yeah, uh, don't do that either. Uh, do not do that. You see, so look at this, look at this. Look at this, I forgot to mention this. These are what they were selling for, uh, during Gen Con. People listen on TCG Player, people are buying 50s. And then 40s. Okay. That's reasonable. Now, now someone in the comments might say, oh, well, these were, you know, uh, someone just listed and sold them to try to manipulate the market. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You know, you know how it works, right? So, maybe, maybe it's pure market manipulation. But, as it stands, those compared to this were actually reasonable prices. So, I think they were real. I do believe they were real sales. Uh, this is way too much for Mickey Mouse. Um, Bell. This is one of the best cards in the set. Uh, $115 for a big blue ramp card. Uh, only one sold ever for 34 bucks. Again, kind of reasonable. This price is not reasonable. This Taco Games is trying to milk you in all your worth. Uh, my recommendation is to not let them milk you. You know, don't do it. Rapunzel. In my opinion, the best card in the set. Same deal. Do not buy this. This is a good card. This is a really good card. But don't spend that money. Uh, Mickey Mouse Wayward Sorcerer for $20. When this card will be coming out in a starter deck. That you'll be able to buy at Walmart for less than $20 or $20. Yeah, you know. No. No. Just just don't, don't buy the pre-sales. And why, for the love of God's green earth... Oh, cool, they're called cold foils. Uh, <laughs> um, why is Donald Duck a common? Why is this one a eighty-seven? when friends on the other side, literally pot of greed, is a dollar? You see, the market just doesn't make sense right now. The market just makes no sense right now. So do not buy the pre-sales. Wait until the 18th. Stuff will come available, and then wait if you even want to wait longer till the 1st of September, and then you'll get rewarded. 
this is craziness. Um, on that note, you know, it's not... I know people want to have cards. I'm the same way. I went crazy at Gen Con. I did. I really did. But, you know, if you can just be patient and, like, be logical-brained about it, you know that um, anyone that's holding tournaments right now doesn't require you for uh, real times, right? Like, sorry, it doesn't require you to have real cards. Like, in my tournaments, you can use proxy cards. You don't have to use real cards. You can if you want, but, you know, proxies are fine, too. Uh, and that way, my tournaments also reward you having real cards, which is pretty cool. Uh, but other people are doing going to be doing things online, like Tabletop Simulator, Pixelborn, all that. So, like, you don't even need to buy cards. You, you really can just be patient, and you'll be okay. So, yeah, there is that. Uh, so, don't buy, pre don't buy pre sales. So don't do that. And then we have some of the most latest products here that you'll be able to get at Walmart's, so like the Lumineers Trove for 200 and then the uh, Lorcana for Star Chapter Steel for 60 Star Deck, by the way, that you'll definitely be able to buy for 20 bucks out of Walmart for 60 No, Aw, stop. And then um, the, the gift box, the gift sets, which you'll also be able to buy at Walmart for way, way, way less than that. The market makes no sense right now, honestly. You, you look at some of these prices, they don't even like, add up. They, it just, just doesn't. These, in comparison, make sense. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if these are what, like, some of the prices of the ultraverse singles, like, point to by the end. You know, 34, 35, 40 bucks. I, I'm like, this is just, it's, it's interesting, um, for sure. So, I don't know. What's also kind of weird about this set is that there are no, like, set ratios. Uh, people were pulling five legendaries out of boxes. People were pulling seven legendaries out of boxes. Uh, and the set has 12. So it's kind of variable in that sense. And right now, it's really hard to get data. What I'll be doing when the set comes out is I'll be asking people for their box pulls. I want to know how many legendaries, how many rares, how many super rares. And I kind of want to put as many boxes as possible on like a spreadsheet so we have objective data. I did that for the first set of Digimon. I'll also be doing it for at least the first set of uh, Wakana. And we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, that's that's really it for the Market Watch. I don't have anything else to add for today's video. You just don't buy the pre-sales. That's, that's it. Um, and, and, you know, the stuff is coming out soon. The 18th. I know I know people have, like, FOMO from Gen Con. And, you know, they missed out. And it feels bad. I, I understand. I really do get it. Gen Con was quite the experience of all time. But it's not worth it, guys. It is not worth it. Unless you're rich and you don't care. If you're rich and don't care, go nuts. But, like, if you are the kind of person at all who likes to budget, then this is not for you. Uh, please, let's use our brains. Don't let these stores milk you. Just just be fine. Just be chill. And that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I will see you later. Bye.